I don't know what came over me. Look at that, we're using Re- Oh, well, we died. But, we're using Ryuichi. We're using a little bit of everybody here. And we're also losing a little bit of our hand-eye coordination, too. Hey, but hey, what's going on? It's Ryan. We're doing part 24, the finale of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. It's been a long journey of dying, and uh, this certainly isn't going to be the last of it just yet, because obviously I just died right there. I also had the pop filter if you didn't hear that. Um, man, it's been a journey. If you've been with uh, with us the whole time, you know, from part one to now, good, good lord, let me know. Uh, and then give yourself a medal, because I can't believe you watched this whole fucking thing. Man, oh man, it's been a, it's been a journey. I've, I've said this, and it's uh, why am I not slowing all this down? Yep, it's been a journey. It's been a dumb journey, dumb in the fact that I do a lot of things that I don't notice and I that I should be doing and that I clearly am not doing almost half the time. Miss Decibel's right here. I want you to leave us alone, cause you gotta die. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, not, I'm just now realizing there's a much there's much more to the <laughs> the ending right here. Is this actually going to be the finale? I'm just now realizing there's like a whole like sort of section. There's like a section on this blimp that you got to go through. And I'm still not fun fighting done fighting Mrs. Decible, Miss Decible. Good lord. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, I'm like nowhere close to them. Maybe this isn't the finale. Oh, good lord. Good lord. I forgot how I should fight her. I think you have to wait for her to like charge at me or something. Oh yeah, and you gotta you gotta like go into these things. You gotta make her run into these uh, electrical things. Hey, over here. Or maybe I'm supposed to hit her now. Yeah, I'm supposed to hit her now, and then she gets angry. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Over here, over here. Oh my god! Holy shit, she moves fast. God damn. Right here. Yeah. How do you like that? You fried, bitch. I would read questions and shit, but the thing about that is, um, incredibly focused right now. I don't have much health. And, uh, Miss Decibel's kicking my ass. Aw, oh, what the fuck? Now, I'm running as fast as I possibly can, so how the fuck am I supposed to get away from those goddamn things? She kind of, the best decibel kind of reminds me of the, uh, antagonist in 101 Dalmatians. Because of the hair, mostly. Oh, come on, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta hit me? Alright, now, hit this thing. Motherfucker. Hit, hit this thing over here. Oh my god, she's totally gonna hit me. Dude, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Now hit me again. Let me get my full health back. Let's do this again. Come on, let's go. Hit me again. I wanna die. Wow, this is unbelievable. I want to get hit. And yet... There we go. My goodness. Wow, it's actually a challenge to die. Alright. Real stuff here, people. Real stuff. This is it. This is gonna be the one. We're gonna finally take out this bitch, play some more stuff, and then, you know, do the mattress mambo and... What the fuck? Why do I keep getting hit by that? Every fucking time. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Oh, what the f I didn't even- I was like fucking three feet away from her! How many fucking volts went into that- it went into that bitch? Hate Miss Decibel. Oh my god, stay away from me. Oh my god. Why do I not think of using this fucking thing? Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Look at that. I can easily jump over that. Oh my god. Look at this. I can look at all this time I have down here. Jesus. Oh my goodness. I'm such an idiot. Good lord. How am I responsible for, for people's food? No, keep running, keep running. There we go! Oh my god, she's almost done. 
She's, we're, she's almost done, people. We got this. I know you. I know you guys have believed in me. You know, and that's partly because you feel sorry for me and my abilities, and that's that's fine. I'll I'll take the pity. You know, I will take it. What sympathy, whatever you have, whatever you're trying to give me, I will take take it because I need it. Okay, got a little cocky there. I was gonna do like a little ditty do dance under there, but man, oh man, that was a bad idea. Keep and focused. Moving in for the kill. Come on, start jumping and shit. Jesus. Fuck! Motherfucker! Well, why not, people? Let's do it again. We're here for the fun, right? Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna read a goddamn question. <laughs> Good gosh. Sonic Dude 1. Hey, man, I got some questions for ya. What's your favorite movie? Even though I don't watch much TV, do you have a girlfriend? If not, do you want a gamer? Do you have an idea for your next gameplay? Do you have a Facebook? Favorite PS Vita game? PS3 games you can't wait for? PS4 games you can't wait for? PS4 feature you're most happy about? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious, Sonic. You've got some conversation material during this Miss Decibel fight that I can't seem to do. And I will answer every one of your questions. And then I'm gonna have to look back at the computer because I just don't remember all of them. Favorite movie? Um. My favorite, like, one movie in itself, like, that with no sequels or anything, is Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, that movie is absolutely, amazingly perfect, in my opinion, uh, because of all the themes of the movie and, and, and just everything about it. If you guys don't know, ah, oh, shit, what the fuck. If you guys do not know, Slumdog Millionaire is about a... Oh my god, I can't see anything! Okay. Alright, come on, we're... Jesus Christ. Okay, so Slumdog Millionaire is about is about an Indian boy that lives in the slums of Mumbai, and basically, uh, God damn it, basically he goes on uh, the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and he does really well on the show to the point where he's at the twenty million rupee question, which is equivalent to the one million dollar question in the North American game show, and uh, he gets accused of cheating because most Indian people that enter the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire do not get very far on the show because uh, I guess like the whole theme of the show is that you know those the Indian people cannot get very far in the game and he got so far in the game and he got accused of cheating so basically he's in the interrogation room of the police station for the entire movie and every time the you know, police officer says, okay, well, how did you know the answer to this question? The movie flashes back to a part of his life where he tells you how he figures out, figures out the answer to that question. And it's, it's, you start to learn that it's not just about the movie and it's not just about the money. It's about, uh, that, the fact that there's actually a love interest and he's on the TV show for this girl rather than the money. And it's just, there's so many great themes to the movie and, uh, it includes some favorite things uh, in my book. One is Indian culture. I loved how, they showed that side of the, you know, they focused so much of that on the movies, all the uh, Indian culture and all that. And then my, fa my favorite uh, game show is Who Wants to Be a M Millionaire? I'm a huge, huge fan of that game show, so I love the fact that it was based on the show, and it was actually pretty authentic to the show using the original, you know, music and all that, and lifelines and, and stuff. I just thought it was really cool. So that's my, that's actually my favorite, like, movie by its own right in, in, in self. But my favorite movie franchise is actually the Saw franchise. I love the Saw franchise. A lot of people give it shit because there's like seven of them. Uh, I love the Saw franchise so much. I think it's uh, a very perfect, completely intertwined story that is just so so sealed tight and, and it works out so well. I don't even watch it for the gore. I watch it for the story. And the gore is it does play a key role and it is awesome, but there's a really good story to it too. So I love the Saw movies, and I love the Saw. Saw oh my god, I'm almost gonna die! I love the Saw movies so much that I actually have a, um, I have a bunch of autographs from one of the actors in the movie. Uh, the so, this site so, sells a bunch of autographs. F oh my god! Oh god! Damn it, Miss Decibel! And I, yeah, I bought a bunch of them because I'm like a fan of the movie and all that. So I bought, I have like all these autographs from actors in the movie. So that's my favorite movie. Oh, yeah, I really want to just take this, take care of this real quick. Ugh. Probably should have done that for the other times, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, I probably should have. You know, I'm starting to realize this may not be the finale after all. I'm ten minutes in and I still got so much to do. I still gotta go on the blimp and everything. Or maybe I'll just keep playing, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make it one long finale part. Kinda make it exciting. Even though I just made you watch me fail three times at this boss battle. But it's fine. We're having a conversation. Oh, sorry, Miss Decibel. It's alright. Bye bye. Bitch. Alright, what was your next question? Hold on, let's just, uh. Bask in the, the beauty of this cutscene. You see, we have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest. Carmelita! Carmelita, don't you touch her, you son of a bitch! you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying anything. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings. Do you? Oh my god, you sick fuck. Don't touch her. Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady, she has sung. <laughs> oh, that's kind of messed up. Plugged that bitch. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. The paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestors' canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. Yeah, I'm really starting to realize there's a lot more there's a lot more left in the game. This probably will not be the final part. I'm sorry I misled you people. It's alright. I usually I don't I usually don't try to mislead you. You know that. I don't try to try to throw you into corners. I don't take you out on a date and, you know, bang you and then give you my number and I'm like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, yeah, we'll, I'll yeah, I'll call you." Oh, okay. Well, you want to you want to sp spend the, the the whole day tomorrow? Oh, oh geez, the whole day. Well, <laughs> god, babe, you know, I got to I got to go to work and and all that. <laughs> oh my god. What am I talking about? Cutscene. Made it home to Paris only to find a place we hardly recognize. It was obvious the paradox was now in control since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. If only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. 
With his father gone, the Paradox had no one to teach him the family business. And after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, the Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, this, I think there's a pretty good amount of the game left, so... Well, not a good amount, but you know. Enough to warrant another part. But I'm browsing some comments. You guys know that. I'm always reading the material you write. Hey, you take the time to write it, I'll tell you I take the time, time to read it. That's how this shit works. Some new comments, man. Ooh. I refresh the page and, and shit's there. I think my tongue's kind of... The side of my tongue hurts a little bit. Don't know why. Don't know what I did to deserve that. Seems like my tongue's always hurting during Let's Plays. It seems like my body is always hit with ailments during during the Let's Plays. Like, like every time. Still reading. I know I, got, I know I should be should be joining you guys during this cut during this long loading screen, but oh well. What do you want me to do? Oh, here we go. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Here we go, guys. Oh, Carmelita. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. My gosh. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Well, well, well. A seemingly very dark room with Carmelita highlighted. Ah! Oh. Carmelita! No! Ah! Oh. You couldn't have just like yelled from across the room. Is it a trap? Yeah! Don't come any closer! Yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big France from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back. Oh where you shit. Now. If we don't, we went to multiple times and brought back multiple people. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me, people. Don't know what came over me. Look at that, we're using Ri- Oh, well, we died. But, we're using Ryuichi. We're using a little bit of everybody here. And we're also losing a little bit of our hand-eye coordination, too. Uh, yeah, this world, it kind of all comes together, you know? All the characters, all in one. 
on and around she goes. Are we gonna hack this? No, we just take it. That's fine. Fine by me. I'm alright with not. I'm alright with not hacking. Ooh, I ran into a glitch here. First time I played. I forget how I activated it, but basically I was just perpetually fighting these little mice dudes over and over again, and like the door never opened or anything. I'm trying to remember how I activated it, cause I I had a feeling that I knew what I did was probably not a good idea, and I did it anyway. But it still then it activated like a glitch. I really do not remember. Oh, next little little scene over here. Bob's cane. Good old Bobby. Robbie. Looks like a scythe more than anything. Or some sort of blade. I went over a lot smoother than smoother than I thought it would. Wow. This really is going a lot better than I thought it would, people. <laughs> knock on wood. Even though I just knocked on glass just now. Hmm, maybe that's gonna jinx it. Does that jinx it? I don't know. You tell me. Ugh, I just cracked my arm. I felt good, though. Felt really good. Oh, Ryuichi, bye. It's working! The temporal abnormality is correcting itself! Bob, we need you to get Man, Bob looks super muscular now. What the hell happened to that guy? Doing some P90X, dude? Some insanity? What are we doing? Where are we going? Oh, the wall climb. Of course. Who could forget that, Who could forget that guy? Oh. Keep it moving. That's what we do around here. We don't stop. We let it pop. DJ, turn my speaker up. Because tonight we are going to fight. Until we see the sunlight. I got the rest of the lyrics of that song. That is a song, by the way. Kesha? Yeah, I like Kesha, so what? Like I said, I'm not a hater. I, like I said, I, I like a little bit of everything. Don't, lim don't limit yourself. I like pop music, I like rap- Oh, I'm frozen. I like rap music, I like pop music, I like tech music. Little bit of everything. Except, like, maybe opera. Or, like, really hardcore rock. Whatever kind of subgenres, sub subgenres you want to give it. Some people, some, some people get too crazy with this, with the subgenres. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Oh, dude, that's not rock. That's sub metal industry scream punk music. Oh, really? Well, whatever the fuck it is, I don't like it. <laughs> you do these days. Ah, I'm gonna get frozen again. Man, I'm just getting nothing but frozen. Maybe that's a sign. You know what the sign is? That we need to cut this Let's Play off right here. I had a, f I had a feeling we needed to do more, and looks like we do. The next part should be the finale. So with that said, everybody, uh, cutting it off on the weekend, I'm Ryan Panecki. Thank you for playing with me, and I'll see you for the finale on Monday.